Washington street artist Kelly Tolles is putting the finishing touches on this mural. He created it with fellow muralist Jason Wong from Hawaii. Tolles says they wanted to create a fantasy that would make people smile. It is two characters playing a basically an old child's game of Cat's Cradle, which is a game with two people doing intricate things with a string around um, each other's hands. The character on the left is the dinosaur, which is from Jasper Wong, and then the character on the right is just a hooded masked figure created by myself. Besides spray paint, they used paint rollers to create the mural. They worked on it for three weeks with help from other artists. On another wall, a pair of Australians, who call themselves Dabs Myla, created this bat-like creature. Tolls came up with the idea of painting street art on the building. He approached Forest City Real Estate Company, which is tearing it down, as part of urban revitalization in the area. Gary McManus, vice president for marketing, says the company commissioned the artwork. We thought it was an opportunity to have kind of a, a fleeting art installation, and it was would be compelling for people to come down and, and see it. It didn't have a lot, of, uh, a lot of windows, and it was white to begin with, so it was a wonderful canvas. The project known as Art Yards began not with a mural, but with tolls pouring a cascade of colors. It's an awesome experience when you can actually propose something to someone and be like, hey, let me dump a bunch of paint down your side of your building. And they're like, yeah. <laughs> like tolls, Baltimore street artist Michael Kirby creates colorful fantasies. Only his are on the ground. Uh, I want to, to, to inspire them, to educate them, uh, to see the world in a different light, maybe. On the Art Yard's parking lot, which will also be destroyed, he created a fishbowl with a castle inside. I wanted to create something underwater, and so I came up with the idea of creating some sort of fantastical fishbowl. And instead of goldfish, I have sea monsters. Kirby is known for his 3D artwork. The whole idea is to, to stretch the whole image. So the horns are stretched really, really long. The face is more elongated. All the vertical lines in the piece are extended so that from this point of view, it all comes together and forms one picture. Tolls has asked that his mural be torn down first when the demolition begins. I love that it's gonna be destroyed. That's street art in itself. That's graffiti in itself. One minute it's there, the next minute it's not. Toll says he's looking forward to watching his mural come down with a bang. Deborah Block, VOA News, Washington.